Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, then hi. My name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury, but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty. So if you're interested in any of these topics, please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be presenting you another episode of my Real vs. Fake series, this time featuring a pair of Chanel CC earrings. So if you're curious to learn how to spot the differences between real and fake, then please keep on watching. Alright, so first things first, let's start with the packaging as I always do. Before we get started, can you tell which one is the real one and which one is the fake one? I honestly cannot spot any single differences. This right here um, is the box for the real pair of earrings and over here we have the box for um, the fake earrings. This box is 100% similar to the other one. It is the same shape, the same size, the same color. Um, the Chanel logo has the same font. There are no uh, differences whatsoever. This is actually uh, pretty rare because in terms of packaging, fake factories tend to not pay a whole lot of attention and not put a whole lot of care um, into the packaging, but here it's 100% the same. Our next part of the packaging is going to be the little cushion that the earrings um, rest on. So over here we have uh, the real cushion, right here in this other hand we have the cushion for the fake earrings. Um, there are not a lot of differences, however, the cushion for the fake earrings, which is right here, is a little bit bulkier um, than the one for the real ones. The Chanel logo also looks a little bit different um, on this one. So on this one, the font is slightly larger than for the real one, and the Chanel um, logo, the writing for Chanel, is placed a little bit higher on the fake ones. Than it is for the real ones but aside from that there's not a whole lot of differences all right finally we have the earrings themselves before we get started can you tell which ones are the real ones and which ones are the fake ones over here in this hand we have the real earrings and right here we have the fake chanel earrings um, right off the bat the size is different this is um, usually one of the first things that i talk about when comparing real versus fake and obviously things will be much, much clearer from the close-ups that I will include. So fear not, there will be close-ups for each difference. Um, so yeah, so the first difference is going to be the size. So um, the fake earrings, which again are right here, are a tad wider um, and also thicker um, than the real ones. This is something that's going to be, again, very, very apparent on the close-ups. The next thing that we're going to talk about is something that's actually going to be um, not so noticeable on the close-ups and that's because we are going to be talking about the weight of these earrings. So what's really interesting is that the weight of the earrings um, for the fake earrings, which again are right here, the weight is heavier um, than the real earrings, which are right here. So obviously this um, right here, the real ones, is Chanel Custom Jewelry. So it's obviously not gold, it's gold plated. But um, what's funny is that usually when comparing real versus fake in terms of jewelry, um, the real piece of jewelry is always going to be heavier um, than the fake one when it's solid gold. So for example, when comparing Cartier jewelry, VCA jewelry, and so on and so on, it's solid gold. So the real ones are always going to be heavier than the fake ones um, because the fake ones are there in gold plated. Um, but here, because we're talking about custom jewelry, it's actually the opposite. So the fake ones are much heavier than the real ones. 
Next up, we're gonna be talking about the inside part of the earrings. So for both earrings, they feature um, black and then the Chanel logo um, with gold hardware, so in gold. Um, so it looks pretty similar. The black is actually exactly the same shade of black. So we've already mentioned that um, the fake earrings, which again are right here, were larger or wider um, than the real ones, which are right here. So that also means that there's going to be a difference in the size of the Chanel logo. So the size of the Chanel logo for the fake ones is a little bit bigger than for the real earrings. Also, there is a difference in terms of the Chanel logo. Um, it is wider um, right here for the fake earrings than it is for the real ones. Again, this will be super apparent on the close-ups, you'll see. For our next comparison, we are going to turn the earrings upside down. And first, we're gonna look at the closure system. So the closure system is the same for um, the fake ones than it is for the real ones. It's the same system, um, the same closure system. However, because um, the fake earrings, which again are right here, are a bit larger than the real ones, the closing system is also going to be a little bit larger for the fake ones. So the next thing that we're gonna take a look at when looking at the back of the earrings is um, on the back of the earrings for um, the fake ones, which again are right here, we have a little um, circle in the center, which is exactly the same as um, for the real ones. So on the real ones, in that circle in the center for one of the earrings, it's left blank, there is nothing written inside. And for another one of these earrings, it says Chanel. Um, now what's really interesting is for the fake ones, it says Chanel on both of these earrings. So there is something written inside that circle for both of the earrings, which is quite interesting because I often find that fake factories tend to replicate things like you know, the Chanel logo, um, the Made in France, for example, perfectly when it comes to handbags and such. So that's often something that they get down um, to perfectly, which here is not the case. Obviously, we're talking about the back of the earrings, so it's never going to be something that people are going to see, but it's definitely interesting to notice. The next and last thing that we're gonna take a look at when um, observing the back of the earrings is going to be the hardware. Obviously, the hardware is also visible on the side of the earrings, but since um, there is more of it at the back of the earrings, it's just easier to observe this way. So both, obviously, both pair of earrings feature gold hardware. Um, the type of gold hardware that is used for the fake earrings, which are right here, is much brighter um, much lighter as well and much shinier than for the real ones which are right here. I would go ahead and say that this certainly resembles a lot more 24k gold um, than this. This is probably more like 14 to 18k, um, you know, depending on the lighting and such. Obviously it's not gold, it's gold plated, but it does resemble that, um, if that makes sense. And that's also something that uh, fake factories often tend to overdo. So when something um, such as, you know, like a bag or jewelry features gold hardware, if it's a fake one, it will oftentimes be much shinier than the real one. So if you are trying to determine whether an item is real or not, that's definitely a very good indication. And lastly, the last thing that we're gonna talk about is going to be the comfort level for um, these earrings. So obviously that's not something that I can talk about when you know comparing real versus fake handbags or real versus fake necklaces, but for earrings, I think it's a very important criteria. So mind you, I am allergic to metal, so even the real ones, which again are right here, I cannot wear for more than like a couple of hours at a time. If I do um, longer than that, my ears will be super irritated, it will just be painful, and I will no longer be able to wear any type of earrings for 
the rest of the week, so I am very careful. Um, so I am allergic to metal, just wanted to disclose that. So I have tried on um, the fake ones, which are right here. Um, the difference we've already mentioned is that they were heavier, so you can feel them more on your ears. You can feel them weighing down on your ears. But in terms of like the comfort level of the closure system and all that and how it fits into your ear, I would say it's about the same as the Chanel ones, just slightly heavier um, so you can feel them a little bit more and also because they are larger, you can feel them more on your ears. So for the Chanel ones, I'm sure that if you were not allergic to metal, you would even forget that they were there because they are quite comfortable. Um, but for the real ones, you can feel them. It's a little bit larger. It kind of resembles the VCA earrings, the VCA Vintage Alhambra earrings. Um, if you're familiar with them, you'll know. So in conclusion, I would say that the fake earrings are not super fakes. You can tell a couple of differences here and there. That being said, um, when worn, nobody can tell that they are not real earrings because nobody's gonna look that closely at your ears. Um, so, or it would be weird, <laughs> very weird, very creepy. Um, so the differences that are here, I see them because I'm looking at the earrings that are not worn and I'm also looking at the real ones at the same time, which obviously does help. Otherwise, I don't really think that I would be able to tell the difference between real and fake. Um, I don't think that the differences that are there are that obvious and especially not when worn. So if you are interested in getting um, these precise earrings or anything else from the fake factory, then I will go ahead and leave all of the relevant information in the description box of the video down below for you along with the coupon code. This is actually my first time working with the brand, but they've been very professional, they've been very friendly, um, so I would recommend them. Um, the packaging was on point. I was actually really, really surprised um, and really, I would say impressed with the packaging, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> it, it looks exactly like the real one. I was like, oh my God, which box is which? Um, so I was very impressed with that. The quality definitely is there. Um, and if you don't wanna drop, like, what's the price of these right now? I'm sure that it's north of $700 for custom jewelry, which is absolutely insane, um, then this is an extremely good option. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this video was beneficial and informational for you. In case you were trying to acquire a pair of Chanel custom earrings, I hope that I was able to show you which um, differences to look at, which parts of the earrings to look at, if you're trying to determine whether an item is real or fake. Again, as usual, be very careful when purchasing something pre-owned online. I tend to not do that because I don't want to get scammed and it's very easy to get scammed, especially if you do not have the real piece in front of you. So be very, very careful. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.